Okay, let's go ahead and graph the line y equals 2 thirds x plus b. So that is going to be our goal in this particular uh, video. It's a quick review on how to, how to graph linear equations. Now, this is a big topic in algebra, and we're just going to focus in on this one particular problem. But again, we're going to try to review um, some broader concepts uh, not all the concepts that we need to know, but some of the main concepts, especially as it pertains to this problem. So we're going to get into that in a second, but first let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over uh, several years I've constructed many, many online math courses, um, ranging from middle school uh, to advanced mathematics. So I'm going to leave a link to my uh, math learning program in the description of this video. Uh, that's where you're gonna find my most comprehensive, best uh, work there, okay? Also, I've been on YouTube for several years. I have hundreds and hundreds of math videos that can help you out. So hopefully you consider subscribing. And if you like this video, please smash the like button at the end. Okay, so let's get into this problem. So here, okay, here's our problem. Y equals 2 thirds X plus five. And here is the xy plane, okay? So in algebra, we call this type of equation a linear equation, okay? Now, if you just hear the way that sounds, a linear equation, it means that this is the, an equation of a line. So this equation has an associated line to it on the graph, okay? So we can graph a line, and here's the equation uh, given to us, right? So just like any line on an xy plane, it has a, an associated uh, equation with it. Right? So this is the whole concept behind linear equations. And it's a very, very important topic in algebra. You absolutely need to know how to graph lines. And the most fundamental way to learn how to graph lines, especially lines that involve two variables like a y and x, is using y equals mx plus b, okay? call this the slope intercept formula and if you notice here okay this uh, equation here y equals two-thirds x plus b so it's y equals so here we have a y equals and then some number times x okay that number is our m value and then it's going to be plus some other number okay so that's going to be b so this is the form here this is what we call the slope M is the slope, and B is what we call the y-intercept. So this is the slope of the line, and this is the y-intercept of the line. So when we have lines in this form, y equals mx plus b, or in this case, y equals 2 thirds x plus 5, okay, we can go ahead and use the concepts of what we call the slope-intercept form. Very, very fundamental to algebra absolutely essential that you understand its equation and how to use it, okay? So uh, the kind of, there's a few different moving parts here. And again, this is going to be a quick review on this particular problem. But uh, let's just go ahead and start uh, by uh, one, recognizing that this equation is in, in this form, okay? So we can see it's in the same form. So now let's talk about the slope-intercept uh, form here and how it works. All right, let's start with this plus B part here, the Y-intercept, and that associates here with this plus five, okay? What is that? Well, it's the Y-intercept. It's where this line is gonna chop through the Y-axis. Let me move my little Y up here, okay? Um, by the way, before I continue on, uh, if you're using graph paper out there, that's awesome, okay? But if you're not using graph paper, just simply go ahead and draw yourself, you know, be very neat and as precise as possible, sketch out, the XY plane and go ahead and mark off some sort of uh, scale that's going to work uh, with what you need here. Okay, so just kind of notch things off. Uh, and that's a good habit to get in. Okay, don't be overly dependent on graph paper. Although I strongly suggest that you use graph paper when you're learning these uh, topics, but don't, you still need to know how to sketch lines with that, uh, without graph paper by making good, accurate um, uh, sketches. All right, so let's move on to this. All right, so B is our y-intercept. So we know this line here is going to chop through the y-axis at five. So this would be one, two, three, four, five. Now, 
I'm kind of making some assumptions in this video that you know how to plot points on the X, Y plane, uh, et cetera, right? So you should be at that level in term with this particular topic is you already know how to plot a point on the X, Y plane. If you don't know how to plot points, then you might want to go to one of my other videos that show you how to do that. Okay. All right. So here is five on the Y axis. So we know this line is going to cross through somehow, some way. We don't know if it's going to go like this or like this or like this, but we know it's going to chop through the Y axis at five. Okay. That's the Y intercept. All right. All right. So, oops, let me go ahead and bring my chart right there. Okay, so this is one point that's going to be on that line. So let's just go ahead and put uh, a little dot there. All right, now this is where it's going to get interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and move this over. So we use this piece of information to plot the line. Now, if you think about it, how many pieces, how many uh, points do I need to plot this line? Well, all I need is two points, right? If I have this point and this point, if I have two points, then I can just go ahead and draw a line through those two points. So what we're trying to do is find two points that are on this particular line, plot them, and then draw our, our line through them. So I already got one point. That's our y-intercept. That's right there. So now to get the second point, I need to use the slope, all right? All right, now let me go ahead and just erase this here for a second so we can talk about how the slope works. And this is where students oftentimes get confused. So here, um, uh, m, okay, our m value is 2 thirds. But the definition of slope is the rise over the run, okay? The rise over the run, meaning that this line is going to go up 2 for every 3 it runs out. So I like to kind of go right and up, okay? Right and up. So this line is going to have this uh, slope associated with it, okay? Our run is going to be three. So every three it goes out, the line will rise two, okay? So in other words, this line is going to have this kind of angle to it, all right? Three and two. It could be six and four. It doesn't make a difference. It's going to have the same proportion or ratio to it. It's rise, okay? It's rise is two, and it's run is three. All right, now let's talk about um, a negative slope, right? Now, in this case, we were dealing with the positive slope. Positive slopes, okay, when uh, lines are have a positive slope, they're going to rise from left to right, like so, okay? If they uh, have a negative slope, the line has a negative slope, they're going to fall from left to right. They're going to be going downhill, Okay, lines with the positive slope are going to go uphill, if you will. Okay, and you got to keep that in mind. So let's take a look at uh, a situation. If our m was negative uh, two thirds, okay, you're still going to go over to the right, but then you're going to go down. So your slope, the way I like to kind of deal with it, it's either it's to the right and up for a positive slope, like for example are three and two here. So this would be our three, uh, it runs three and rises two. But if you had a negative two thirds slope, it would run for every, it would run out three, but drop down two, okay? So in other words, our line would be going in this direction, all right, versus this direction. So you got to understand slope, rise over run, and the difference between negative and positive slopes. Okay, so with that being said, let's get back to our problem. All right, so m is equal to 2 thirds. So this is, again, where students oftentimes get confused. So from this point, we have one point here on the graph, okay? This line is going to run out 3. We can start from here, run out 3 and go up 2. So it's going to go 3 and up 2. All right, this way, but let's go ahead and count it from this point that we already know that's on this line. So just look down here. This is one, two, three on our x-axis. So we're going to go out one, two, three. Okay, so we're running out three this way. And let me scoot this over so we can see this a little bit better. So m is equal to two-thirds 
this is our rise, and this is our run. So I'm running out three in this direction, one, two, three, and then from here, I'm going to make a uh, turn. I'm going to go up to one, two. So this is my second point on this graph, and now I can go ahead and just graph the lines. Let me just go ahead and just graph this real quick, and there we go. Now we want to put little arrows here, and that is the line associated. But let's put some coordinates in here so we're precise with our graph. So what's the coordinate of this point right there? Okay. So hopefully it would uh, you would see, oh, that's 0x and 5 on the y. Remember, uh, points are always x and y. Okay, so this point here is 0, 5. And then very carefully, all right, our second point right here is going to be located where? What's going to be its x coordinate? Well, it's going to be 3, right? 1, 2, 3. You can just kind of look this way. And then this went up 2. This is at 5, so we went up 2. So where is that going to put that? Well, it's if this was 5, that's 6, that's 7. So this is the point 3, 7. All right? So these are the two coordinates, two points that are on this line. And this is the equation of that line. This is the linear equation, and this is it's the, the respective line graph of that linear equation. All right. So quick review on how to use y equals mx plus b. Of course, there's uh, plenty of other examples that you need to uh, go through to really get this down. But hopefully, you know, this video was a good, you know, um, you know, learning uh, experience for you to, you know, maybe you were confused with the slope. Maybe you were just not, you know, confused with the whole concept of graphing lines. Okay. Whatever the case is this, if you're um, in some sort of math class, but obviously I assume you are, if you're watching this video, this my videos here like this are, are, are designed as quick tutorials, right? You still need to do a lot more, okay? So continue to study, continue to practice. The only way you're going to get better at math is to actually practice, all right? So if you want to see uh, many more problems uh, along this, you know, I would suggest uh, either checking out more of my uh, videos on YouTube um, and or maybe checking out my full math program. Again, the link will be in the description below. All right, so with that being said, uh, hopefully... It's no mystery now how to graph y equals 2 thirds x plus 5, okay? Pretty straightforward problem. Again, everything's easy once you understand what's going on. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventure. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.